Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Sari and these are my knitting podcast videos. And today I will be showing you what I have on my needles. Uh, I have one new um, project that I started last week. Not this week, yeah, this week. I'm totally confused by the days. <laughs> and, and then I have some other things that I have been working on that I want to show you. So that's um, what I'm talking about today. And um, in my previous episode, I told you that I was going to visit my parents. So I went to the west coast of Finland where my parents live and also where I grew up for, for a few days. And then I took a little trip to Vasa, which is our old hometown. We lived there before we moved to Helsinki about a year ago and I want to say hi to my best friends in Vasa and now I'm back in Helsinki again. Um, I had the video camera with me. I was going to film an episode um, while while traveling but things were quite hectic at my, my parents house with my parents uh, staying at home and and they have a dog and then uh, our son was there so I didn't really have the moment of peace to, to film anything and um, the hotel that we stayed in in, in Vasa wasn't very um, picturesque I could say um, it had this weird cold covered cold colored walls and and dark wood panels so not, not really <laughs> my style, so I didn't want to film, film anything there either. So I decided to, to film, film the episode now that I am back at home. But it was really refreshing to, to go, go back home. I haven't really been, been home at all during the past year uh, because um, it's a four hour train. Uh, away from Helsinki so it takes quite a long to get there and and also because of the corona situation um don't want to travel uh, too much so I haven't been to to see my parents for for a while now and it's really nice now that um I'm self-employed so uh, nobody is saying to me uh, how or where or when I have to work. So it was totally okay for me to work work for a few days from uh, my parents' house and then for one day from Vasa. So I think it worked really nicely. Um, my husband will be traveling to Vasa quite a lot this spring, so I was thinking about going along with with him on his trips uh, as much as I can but um, the coronavirus situation is um, uh, apparently getting worse again here in Finland we don't really have that many restrictions yet so all the shops and cafes and restaurants are still open although they have uh, for example the restaurants and cafes still have limited seating um, but I think they are probably going to put out new restrictions soon so we have to see if it's even possible to travel anymore and and also I want to avoid unnecessary traveling so because I really don't have to go to Vasa then um, if the situation gets worse I, I won't be going mm. but um, I started a new pullover on Tuesday I think or was it on Monday and now now it's it goes on Monday and now it's Saturday so this is coming along along really quickly um, but I'm using quite big needles so five millimeter and 4.5 millimeter needles for this one and it's a runway so it knits up really quickly and I've been mostly only working on this one so since Monday so that also means that it's coming along nicely and I think all these uh, 
Icelandic inspired um, circular yoke patterns are really popular now so I also wanted to make my own pattern for that, my own design and I'm calling this urban adventure pullover it looks like like this because I wanted to create something that um, you can also wear uh, in the city so I think this would look really nice with like skinny black jeans and Doc Martens boots uh, or you can wear it if you go uh, trekking as well so this is called urban adventure and as you can see I started it at um, neckline and it has this circular color work pattern started knitting here and now I'm working on the body so it has a slightly loose fit a slightly boxy fit because I like I like my pullovers like that and I have to separate the sleeves so the sleeves are now on on hold so I will first finish finish the body and I'm not going to have any more um, uh, color work here on the body so it's going to be um, unicolor down to the ribbing and then then uh, unicolor ribbing but I was thinking about adding a bit more stranded knitting to the sleeves so I was going to uh, include this this um, section of the pattern to the sleeves so look like this and then then ribbing here so that's my plans for this one and I'm using cascade yarns for this one this is my first time using uh, cascade uh, 220 but th these are all um, except the white the white is just the 220 but the other one are the headers um, quality but my husband uh, I, told, I, I have told you that I taught my husband to knit uh, last spring and he has been working on a, a collar for himself or a coal for himself and he picked um, this like really dark purple uh, cascade 220 from Snurre uh, which is our local yarn store and he really liked the yarn so I wanted to try it out for me as well so I picked three different colors and I have also also some um, like this really dark brownish gray as well that I'm going to use for another pullover so I'm using using these three colors and so this is the, the off-white off-white color I don't know if it has a name the color number is um, 8010 um, but it's it's like a natural uh, off-white off-white color and then this is the color number 8012 and this one 2453 I will write the, the uh, color names below this video so you can see them easily so this one has like this really nice um, foxy uh, rusty color and this is like grayish brown really nice um, a natural shade it looks almost gray in certain lights and then uh, like this sandy sandy brown in, in different different lighting I'm really enjoying working on this one and this is actually my first um, adult color yoke pullover that I have um, designed for, for me, I designed one for Novita, I think, but, but this is like the, that I have self-designed um, and self-knitted. So really, really excited about this one. And, and like I said, I have uh, enough yarn to make a second one. So I will be picking that on my needles after after finishing this one, because this is so, so much fun and I really enjoy it. So this is the urban urban adventure floor, and 
Other things that I have been working on during this past week are, are the Scandinavian socks. Also uh, working in in color color work or standard knitting. And uh, I finished them uh, on Thursday on our train ride back from from um, Pietarsaari to, to Helsinki. And the other one is still unblocked, the second one, this one is blocked and this one is unblocked, but I wanted to show you. I've been talking about this quite a lot, uh, I think I have shown quite often here on uh, YouTube and also on Instagram uh, how my knitting looks like before I block it and how it looks like after I have blocked it. Uh, and this is like the magic trick that I think um, you don't really tell uh, beginners, at least when I started out I had never heard about blocking, I had no idea what that was and I was always wondering why my knitting doesn't look as nice as as it does uh, for for um, for um, like professional sort of pattern photos and so on and the magic trick is actually it's blocking and you can either just like uh, put put your um, knitwear under under water and let them soak for a while and then I usually take two towels and put put the uh, project between the two towels and just like roll them like a burrito and then I I also I step step on the burrito to get to get out all the all the um, um, excess water and after that I lay them out to, to dry. I dry them flat. Um, other way is to use uh, blocking mats and blocking wires and so on but um, don't really do that. Uh, I recommend doing that if you need a lot of shawls so I think uh, you can't really uh, get the shawls like really uh, widened, widened out without wires and, and blocking tools, but I don't really need, need um, shawls, so I don't, I don't really block that way. And the third way, oh, of course, I, for socks I use sock blockers. I have wooden plywood sock blockers that um, I, first I wet, wet, the, wet the socks and then I put them on the sock blockers to dry. Or if I don't have, like I didn't have the sock blockers with me at my parents' house, then I just used um, a normal uh, iron and I put the steam function on maximum. And then I just um, lightly press press the socks with, with uh, the iron and using the steam function. So I think that works really nicely. And I often do that for, for uh, knitted pullovers as well. So this one is the one that hasn't been blocked yet and this one is the one that has been blocked so I think you can you can see see the difference. So this doesn't look as nice and smooth as this one. So you can see. So this is totally totally unblocked, even the, the heel. heel looks really ugly compared to this one. And this pattern is being tested at the moment, so um, it is coming. Okay, Luna, Luna is over there and she dropped a, a needle from my, my table, so um, don't, don't worry about the noise. And like I said, uh, the pattern is being tested and it is coming out really soon. And for this one, I used these two colors from uh, Schachenmeier. Uh, this is the Regia, Regia, how do you pronounce it? Yarn and this is the silk, silk sock yarn. I can't really remember the exact name. That's a really long premium silk sock or something like that for ply. And this is the colorway frost and, and the linen. I have also finished the neckband for my pan cardigan and it doesn't have buttons yet and I haven't finished the buttonholes either. 
So I have the buttons on, on buttonholes on waist yarn and then I will undo this uh, waist yarn on both both sides, put the stitches on, on needles and using Kitchener stitch I will graft the sides of the buttonholes together. And I started working on the on the sleeves. I had already knitted longer than this, then I realized that it was um, going to be too big. It started to flare, um, didn't look very nice, so I ripped it back and I have I have only made it to the first uh, maybe eight centimeters or something like that. And also I realized that I would, would be running out of yarn because this was all, all the merino I had left and and there was no way that I would be able to finish uh, both sleeves as well as um, pockets because I want to have pockets. Um, I couldn't possibly do all of that with just this half a skein. So I had to order, order two more balls and at the same time I ordered one more ball of the silk mohair that I was using just to be sure that I have enough and I've been using knitting for olives soft silk mohair and this is the colorway um, brown nougat and also their uh, merina and this is the colorway hazel so that's what I've been <coughs> using using for, for this cardigan and I had this really nice wooden buttons that I was going to use for this but but they didn't didn't <coughs> actually when I tried them out they didn't look nice so I'm going to to look for um, some um, horn horn imitation buttons for this so I will now continue with the sleeve and then then the second sleeve and and pockets and then this is finished. So <clears throat> I'm super happy about this. Uh, I know that I will be using it a lot. And what else I have on my needles? Well this is the 2x1 hat. As you can see I haven't really made any progress with this one so I've been so into working on the urban adventure pullover so I haven't had time to, to continue this but it's growing slowly. And now that we are back in, in Helsinki and I'm taking Theo to daycare every day, back and forth, so I have a lot of time on the bus to work on this. And lastly, some pattern news. Um, the audit pullover pattern will be coming out tomorrow and I'm super excited to be releasing it finally. I've been working on on my Odette pullover since I think last July so it's about time to finally get it out and the pullover is started with a provisional cast on here at the back and then it's worked downwards until the armholes. After that uh, you undo on both shoulders you undo the, the provisional cast on and start working down um, and and join it at the, at the neck base and then work downwards to the armholes join in the round and and work in the round with the back until until the hem and also the sleeves are worked seamlessly so it looks like it has a set in sleeve construction but it is totally seamless seamless it's sleeveless seam, seamless uh, tongue twister. Um, so I pick up stitches along the armhole and then shape the sleeve cap with short rows. And lastly the neckband and it's folded double. So I really like how the twist dripping on, on the sleeve cuffs and also the hem are just enough of uh, details for this one. And 
it works with everything so this is totally my favorite pullover for everyday use and I also have one in black so I've been using the black one a lot it's totally the peeled um, here on the underarm so I should take my my um, peel removing machine and, and work on it and also what I've been doing this week I've been trying to learn how to use Canva uh, to, to do layout for my patterns because previously I've only used Word or OpenOffice or recently Google Sheets for my, my um, pattern layouts so I wanted to make them look a bit more professional so I, I've been learning to use Canva. I also um, translated the iris hat pattern to Finnish. So I updated the iris hat pattern to include versions for um, mohairless uh, yarns. So this one is worked using two fingering weight yarns held together. So the original hat is worked with uh, one strand of fingering weight merino and one strand of of mohair so this one has uh, no mohair and and two strands of fingering weight merino and i also added instructions for a dk weight version so if you um have bought the pattern for the iris hat earlier you should find the updated pattern in your ravelry store and if you're only buying it after, after the updated version, you of course get the updated version. But that's everything I had for today. Um, I will be filming another episode very soon. And I hope you have been enjoying watching my videos. So if you like my videos, uh, remember to subscribe to my, my channel. So you will always get notified when a new episode comes out. But um, until next week, see you.